at any moment in the space time if you exist it's only because of combinations combinations leads to meaningful formats and these meaningful formats created in the universe that's the truth about life that's the truth about science at the atomic level you're just neutron proton electron and of course the god's particle but the moment you have meaningful bonding you become a chemical and these meaningful chemicals when come together and create a self-sustaining system they're called a cell and when this cell combines in a different format it forms organ and these organs ultimately form the human body and that's how we exist so everything is a combination science has existed because we have optimized these combinations over a period of several years and now that Biotechnica subscribers are ready to explore newer combinations of life sciences in 2024 and beyond. Here is my take on some of the amazing combinations which you can pursue as a research career or maybe a, just a career in the life science sector. Now, first things first, what is the benefit of this? Because I believe that's the first thing we should be told to you. You know, when you have different combinations, unique combinations, you are capable of doing things what cannot be done, what could not be done earlier. And you know, curriculum has divided science into physics, chemistry, biology, but nature has not. So when you stand at the boundary of art, science and commerce, that is where innovation happens. That is where uh, science happens, right? You could, cannot exist just because of biology. You exist because of physical laws also. You, you exist because of the chemical uh, bonds also, right? So here are few combinations which will really help you uh, in creating a successful career in 2024 now that we are going to end 2023. So the first one which comes into my mind is synthetic biology and bioengineering. Now this combination is unique. Now with the advances in genetic engineering and synthetic biology, there is a growing need for professionals who can design and construct new biological organs, new biological parts, devices and systems, self-sustaining systems. And that is where when you combine the power of synthetic biology and bioengineering, now this is one field which can have tremendous impact in the future. So all you have to do is just go in and find out which place you can pursue both or at least one and take help of others who have done a degree in something similar and combine to create better results. You have to create better results for yourself. So you have to be unique and synthetic biology and bioengineering is one such tool. The second one which I have is a year old, the, you know, decade old or probably centuries old uh, combination, but it is still new and it has uh, created some of the biggest biotech companies such as Bayer and Monsanto and that is biotechnology in agriculture. I'm sure you must have heard of all these companies, right? So recently I was talking to a girl. So she was like, hey, I have done my uh, BSc in um, chemistry and then I did my uh, MSc in, um, you know, plant breeding and biochemistry and stuff. So now nobody is giving me any job. I said, hey, you're the right place, right combination. All you have to do is right, apply in the right company, right? And she did and she got a job. So what I'm trying to tell you here is agriculture is the biggest industry in this country and the world, right? And nobody can sustain without agriculture. Ask yourself how uh, the food, the breakfast reached your table this morning. Well, that was agriculture, right? So agriculture is going to be the backbone of our society and our economy in the future as well. Nobody can deny that. So as the world grapples with food security and malnutrition, sustainable agriculture is going to be the demand of the future. And you can create a complete career out of this by developing drought resistant cro crops, by developing bio pesticides, by uh, developing innovative farming techniques, which gives better productivity, better results. Biotechnology in agriculture is the second deadly combination which is going to boom in 2024 and beyond. So look forward to that. The third combination which I have for you is personalized medicine and genomics. Well, you must have heard of it. You take paracetamol, I take paracetamol. Chemical, right? You have the same effect, I have the same effect. But it, if it is for a body pain or a headache, that's all right. But the moment it starts escalating, it goes to a level where uh, it becomes cancer, right? Or uh, HIV. What will happen that point in time? You cannot give one size fits all medicine, right? That is where 
personalized medicine comes into picture. Personalized medicine if you combine with genomics. So if we can do that using bioinformatics, genomics and personalized medicine, imagine the kind of opportunity we can create for doctors to prescribe better medicines to patients with better efficacy, better bioavailability and better results, right? And this is going to be a boon. Personalized medicine is the only way to, to treat deadly diseases such as cancer, right? And cancer is spreading like anything in this world. It's no longer limited to the rich class. It is uh, spreading to the rich and poor. It is impacting both. So you can get into personalized medicine and genomics. That is a deadly combination, which I would recommend for you. The fourth one now, the fourth one which I have for you is environmental biotechnology, right? Environmental biotechnology is going to be there forever because of global warming, because of pol pollution, because of multiple issues which all of us face as a society as an economy we grew but at the same time we polluted our environment so environmental biotechnology addresses issues like pollution and climate change through biotechnological solutions in an area which is going to grow over a period of time so it's not that hey right now there is no pollution so let's leave it every year you see Delhi going under a lockdown because of the firecrackers uh, and all that in the in the November month you will see that moving forward if we see okay uh, the climate change the average temperatures across the world is increasing that is leading to the melting of the ice in the North Pole and South Pole as well as the Himalayas. This will increase the water level at the in, of the sea and many low lying areas will get submerged. So the land is already 7% of earth and that also gets shrunk. But the population is increasing. Imagine the impact it will be on our world. So environmental biotechnology can solve this in a better way with using biotechnological solutions. So that's one more deadly combination which we have. So the next combination which we have is neuroscience and mental health. Now with a better understanding of health, with the emergence of a brain device interface, we will be in a position to develop better uh, solutions to mental health. And at the same time, we'll be able to treat mental disorders in a better way. Uh, suppose a person cannot speak, right? But what if he could interpret through his brain using the brain uh, device, uh, brain uh, device interface, and he can also do things which he could not do earlier, right? Like communicating to people. So this is where neuroscience and mental health and the brain device interface is going to evolve and take you forward. And this is, I think, a very exciting and emerging interface. And if you are interested in biomedical engineering, and if you are interested in developing devices which will, un you know, interpret interface with the brain and uh, come up with the results. I think this is huge and this is going to grow in uh, 2024 and beyond. You must look for it. The next is regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. So you must have seen people lose lives in accident, but more than that, more people lose their limbs in accidents. And many people lose their organs because of some disease, maybe kidney or heart transplant or liver transplant. What if we could develop a regenerative system using tissue engineering to grow the organs back, right? And that is where this field is going to boom in the future to develop, to regrow, to replace the damaged t tissues and cells and organs. And this is going to actually replace the entire organ donation industry. So regenerative medicine and tissue engineering is going to be one big field where you can invest your career. Okay. The next one which I have is data science in life science. Now, you must have seen a lot of vacancies on Biotechnicas, including the FIRE scholarship, where we are looking for data scientists who have knowledge of life science. Now, if you are a computer engineer, you have understanding of computer engineering, right? You don't have understanding of life science. But for a data science scientist to understand life science is very difficult. But for a life science student to understand data science is easier because the, because of the adaptability and of the science in data science. So you can actually learn data science better than a data scientist learning life science. So that is where if you stand at the borders of data science and life science, you think if you can somehow do this interface, you will be able to integrate big data with AI. Now, this will lead to enhancement in drug discovery, in genomics research, 
and more data will be created in this process which can further be analyzed and further can be enhanced using your expertise. So data science and life science right now we have a Swiss company looking for it. Many more companies are going to come to Biotechnica to hire and data science and life science is going to be a booming field where you can get to. Next which I have for you is the or healthcare technology integration. So you must have seen telemedicine you must have seen digital health records now you are also seeing apple watch which can monitor your heartbeat which can monitor your spo2 which can monitor your uh, if you fall and it will immediately alert the nearby people and a lot of things are getting embedded in these iot devices right so health tech is going to grow now health tech is where you interface so the sensors have to really understand the human vitals right and human vitals are not limited to uh, spo2 or uh, bp it has got multiple other things like blood sugar or uh, creatinine level what if in real time you could monitor your serum creatinine level so that you can find out if there is any organ damage happening or if you could identify if the if the drug in the bloodstream is above the permissible limits something like that so health tech is going to grow and this integration is going to grow and that is where you will be the interface which will help the scientists the computer scientists interface with the life science or the vitals of the body right so that is another big field another combination which you can pursue so so far i think i uh, told you around seven or eight fields of the future which is going to boom in 2024 and beyond now is the question to ask is how can you pursue where can you get the jobs or and who is going to guide you about that let me tell you this that at biotechnica we stand at the frontiers of science we are interfacing at any more point in time with 100 plus scientists on a daily basis and at the same time we are interfacing with lakhs and lakhs of job seekers students and professionals so biotechnica is a platform where you can learn all of this we keep conducting workshops, webinars, courses, internships in collaboration with industry as well as academia. So if you are a job seeker or a, a professional who is just getting started with their career or someone who wants to update their knowledge about the industry, about the upcoming frontiers of life science, then you have to stay subscribed to Biotechnica where all things life sciences happen and where we come up with videos like these so thank you so much for watching this video you made it to the, till the end congratulations and i'll see you soon in the next video till then keep shining don't forget to comment below if you have any questions take care bye bye